Congratulations to the Slam Poetry Team for taking second place at the Cooper Hills Grizzly Invitational. Victor Velasco, Emily Vogt, Rachel Chambers, and Alyssa Carmen. Pre-admission sessions for AP testing starts next week. Check your email, you're required to attend. If you want to take a concurrent enrollment class next year, talk to your counselor to get the permission slips and registration and stuff. Promise tomorrow from 8 to 11. 40 if you're going as a couple, it's 30 stag. Plan something fun, get your group together, have some fun. So here in Utah, a problem that we don't really think about that much but is kind of a really big issue is um, domestic violence and abuse. And there are a couple shelters here in Utah um, called the Center for Women and Children in Crisis, which are really cool and um, it just helps women and children who are in really bad situations to kind of recover and have a safe place to go live. And so what we're doing coming up for Mazer Day's Carnival is we're having a chalk the block chalk art contest and what it's going to be is like the art is going to be messages of like love and support and encouragement to those victims at the shelter. And so if you want to help participate, just sign up in front of Mr. Simmons' office and it'll be super fun and it's free and you can just come and do chalk art with your friends. So talk to your friends, get a team together if you want, there'll be really cool prizes for the winners. So yeah. Now it's time for our pride, Alex Chi. Hi, my name is Alex Chi. I came to Mazer last last year for 11th grade, so I've been here for a year and and a half almost, more than a half. I liked how it was kind of like the size of my old school, it was just a little bit smaller, and how everyone's super friendly and can just get along with pretty much everybody. What I didn't like at first was playing Quidditch in PE that I did not like. Growing up in California, I just didn't really have any other colleges in mind, and so BYU seemed it was a good college. So I'm going to study nursing, and I'm also going to do the Air Force ROTC program there. I'm currently on the track team, I throw the javelin, and do long jump. And I used to play water polo, used to wrestle, and I used to swim. And then when I came here, I swam for a club team. So for swimming, I only did it with at my high school because so I could stay in shape for water polo because water polo was in the fall and then swimming was in the spring. My friend's mom was a water polo coach at the high school. And so he's like, hey, you should do water polo, it'll be really fun. And so I just did water polo, and it turned out I was pretty good at it. At the time, I didn't know what water polo was. I just, I figured it out later. And so this one time, when I was a freshman playing water polo on the freshman sophomore team, so I wasn't that good, so I was just the bench player. And then we are and the team wasn't very good either, so we were losing by a lot. And so I just went in because just to get some time, playing time. And then I somehow stole the ball, and then this, and I was swimming with it down the pool, and this guy comes at me, and I did a, I don't even know how, I grabbed the ball and I did a spin move on him in the water, and then I got past him that way, and went up and shot the ball, but I didn't make it, but it's still cool. Because